Hey YouTube, a uh, quick video about a boost converter slash capacitor dump circuit that uh, a friend of mine, my Sicilian friend has been helping me with. Um, this is kind of my own variation of it, but I was just gonna share it in case anyone else wants to try it. it seems to work pretty well. <clears throat> so I'm using a 12 volt battery here, and then that's feeding into a boost converter and bringing it up to about 38 volts, okay? And that's feeding the coil uh, of the pulse motor. In this case, I'm actually using my old Newman motor. Um, but what comes out of the coil then goes to a switch. So here I've got an SSR, all right? And um, there's a second switch here, and these work opposite. So when switch one is on, switch two is off. When switch two is on, switch one is off. So when switch one is, is closed, uh, it's going to allow power to come this way through the coil. It's going to fill the capacitor, okay? And then this is going to close, and this is going to open, and that's going to actually let the capacitor dump back to the supply battery. So you have this first loop goes like this, fills it up, switch closes, this one opens, and then it kicks back this way, makes this loop, right? And recharges the supply battery. Well, that was working okay, <clears throat> but what I wasn't doing is capturing the back spike here. So what I decided to do is just use a diode and run three batteries in parallel and uh, tie them, you know, kind of series style into the discharge of this battery. So current's not going to flow this way, um, you know, unless there's a, a spike that, that goes higher than the 36 uh, volts which will happen every time that this switch opens, this magnetic field dumps. It's actually 350 volts spikes. I'll show you on the scope. So here's what it looks like. This is the old Newman motor. It's turning just under 200 RPM. Um, that's the power. You can see it bouncing. And then these are the two switches. So that's switch one and that's switch two. And you can't see it here, but again, that, and that one's open, that one's closed. And I, I did that um, by taking uh, two transistors and kind of stacking them. Uh, I don't know what electronics that well, I just kind of figured it out. Um, but basically one triggers the other, which triggers the SSRs. And then these are the capacitors that are dumping. Uh, that's the boost converter there. It's taking the main battery from 12 up to uh, 38. And uh, here's the scope. So right now there's, this is our, reading uh, what would be on the positive going back to the battery. Um, oh, so you can see it's uh, average 56, it's just steady. But here, let me unhook, these are the charge batteries, the three that are getting the spike. Let me go ahead and unhook that. And then voila, you see these spikes every time the switch opens up and you can see here they're uh, 360 is the max. Uh, 350 so it's pretty high every time that field coil collapses this these are big coils each of these is 15 pounds of copper um i forget the number of turns but it's a lot uh oh, 2500 i guess it says right there um so that's kind of how the circuit works and the other thing that's kind of neat about this is uh, measuring the voltage across all three batteries and then the fourth as well the voltage will continue to climb, okay? And part of that's because you've got a big battery in back and its voltage basically isn't changing and these are going up. So overall, I'm not saying that there's an overall energy gain, but um, you know, this started at 50.0 maybe an hour ago. So slowly it charges up the other batteries. Anyhow, just thought I would share that. The uh, boost converter cap dump circuit for running a pulse motor. Okay, thanks for watching.